Are you seeking clarity about your love life, relationships, your career, or maybe even your life purpose? Maybe you're trying to figure out what's holding you back. Connect with me for spiritual mentoring, life coaching, and or a spiritual or energetic reading that can help you to find your way back to who you really are. Harness the spirit of your highest timeline version. If you haven't purchased your copy of the Manifesting Your Masterpiece book written by Tanisha Ali, you can get it on Amazon.com today. You are with Tanisha Ali and I'm here to help you to gain clarity, up-level your mindset, clear and heal energetic blockages so that you can manifest the glory of God that is you. And I cannot help but to pull a card from the sword of life. All right. And this says, recognize the signs from above and Archangel Michael is with you. Let's pull a card before we get into this conversation about repeating patterns. Uh, Joe Dispenza talks about waking up to the past every day, but he talks about it from a using just everyday language. He has a book called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, which is excellent. I want to speak to you some about what he's talking about, but I'm going to break it down into more of a... Uh, a subatomic sort of, of level and I want to speak to you about it from a spiritual standpoint but essentially it's going to be the same thing he talks about um, waking up every day to the old you and embracing the old you and because you embrace the old you you can't create anything new that's essentially what he is saying we wake up as soon as our eyes open we check in with our pain Okay, the pain is there. We check in with maybe some crazy text somebody left us the night before or some other responsibility from the day before. We get dressed, we walk down the stairs, we drink the same cup of coffee, we move through our kitchen the same exact way, we drive the same way to work, we don't expect anything new to happen, and so as such, we don't create any new interconnections, which means our world is the same. And you all already know, because you've heard me say this a lot on the channel, that every day is a recycling of yesterday. About 75, 85% of your thoughts are a recycling of yesterday, which means that if you talk about, if you look at the video I did, I believe when I talked about the shift is here, video number one, if you look at that video, you remember me saying at 60 years, you got 59 years of old thinking behind you, all right? You have less years in front of you. And in order for you to undo all of this, you got to really overwhelm this timeline with healthy new realities. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Breaking past habits and the repeating habits and the things that keep you from a fifth dimensional reality now fifth dimension is where we're starting but that is not where we're where uh it stops but we're going to stop with fifth dimensional in terms of conversation and defining things on this channel simply because of the fact that that is what where most of the dialogue is and clearly if we're still struggling with third and fourth we don't need to worry about six and seven okay we got two beautiful cards here one says, um, put your creative energy to action, embrace this magical moment, all right? This is saying that there's something that's trying to show itself, something that's trying to be created through you, and right now, all of the energy and support for this thing to come into existence or for you to bring it to your reality or for you to attract it, it is in your vortex at this time. Figure out what this is as it relates to your life. And right underneath that, look what we have. Your vibration is rising. And I can promise you, if you're watching this video, your vibration is rising. And you know how you know it's rising? Because you're looking at these patterns and you're trying to get rid of them. And that's what we get ready to talk about. This says, this is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. See, I can promise you those are facts. Those words are bond. Now let's get into it. All right. Repeating patterns. As long as you are repeating patterns, that represents a form of lack of awareness. Think about Caveman. Y'all remember that movie? I remember watching Caveman when I was growing up and they were walking around like this. And they were getting the food and they would talk to each other and they were always bent over. And then at one point, one person realized they could crack their back and stand up. And so everybody started cracking their back. Oh, ah, oh, 
too. And the women would crack their backs and the men would go around and they would crack their backs. And suddenly everybody started to stand up straight. They became homo erectus. I don't know if that's the name or not, but the point is they became aware at that point that they were able to do something different than what they had accepted. In the same way that many of you have become aware that you can now look at your thoughts and you can have a thought about your thoughts. Or you can look at your thoughts and you can actually analyze your thoughts and you can classify your thoughts and you can assign your thoughts a vibrational, a vibration. You can look at your thoughts and assess something that is going on in your life. Whereas 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago, your average person was just listening to the thoughts, thinking that the thoughts were reality. They didn't even know where the thoughts were coming from. And not only that, they didn't have a thought about the thoughts. They just did whatever the thoughts told them to do. So they were not self-aware. So what I'm saying here is that you're coming into an awareness that there's something else possible that is governing your reality beyond what you have always thought about or what you have always not thought about. And that this level of consciousness is alive and that this level of consciousness connects everything and that this level of consciousness wants the best for you, whether you call it God, the universe, the divine, the spiritual web, whatever you call it, it doesn't matter because it's the same thing, all right? But the point that I'm making here is that in order to break these patterns, you have to get a handle on this program, this operational software that is running in the background constantly unbeknownst to you, unbeknownst to the average person out here who's shaking their booty on Instagram or who is cussing somebody else out on another channel, who's airing somebody else's dirty laundry, who's out here wreaking havoc, who might be stalking somebody, who might be creating drama, whatever's going on there, think about it. Those people are just reacting. They're in a state of emotionally reacting all the time. They are responding to whatever thoughts are going through their mind with very little filter and they are just acting out whatever the reality is that the thoughts are processing for them or that they are processing as a result of the thoughts or they're looking at what Tom, Dick, or Harry's doing and they're doing what somebody else is doing or they're either acting out what the world has taught them, all right? They are not in a space of sitting back and looking at anything and you may take that for granted and not realize that when you're capable of doing that, that you already have been set aside from the average person. You have already begun to see beyond the illusion. You've already begun to see beyond the veil. And that's what we're talking about. So these patterns, these belief systems, all of these things, these triggers, uh, uh, things that have to do with you having been codependent, codependent as it relates to your employer, codependent in a relationship with your children, your lovers, whatever it is, you have to break your connection with the past and you have to face off with those karmic cycles and those karmic experiences and you have to slay the devil. And that's what this is about. So, in order to move from a third dimensional reality into a fifth dimensional reality, you have to lighten your load. You have to raise your vibration. And one of the ways that you raise your vibration is by controlling your thinking. And one of the ways that you can control your thinking is by understanding what is actually influencing your thinking in the first place. If you don't know what is influencing your thinking, you have a problem. And once you realize what is influencing your thinking, then you then have to have to uh, put in what will feed your mind. And you have to give your mind those things that are higher vibrational. Now, that's in addition to all of the high vibrational stuff that we've talked about on this channel forever, your environment. Um, the people that are around you, exercise, meditation, all of that, you've got to first also recognize that everything that has made you up to be the person that you are has been a lie. Everything that has made you into Tunisia Ali, Keisha McClendon, uh, Felita, uh, 
all of you, all of you, Naval Jamal, all of you, everything that has made you into who you are is not the truth. It belongs to somebody else. And somebody gave it to you and they told you to believe it, no matter what it is. The same way your parents told you we can't afford this or life is hard or somebody told you life is a struggle, this is hell down here. All of it, whatever it is, you gotta work hard in order to make a living. Um, you know, without doctors, you're at a loss. You need um, um, this in order to get that. Whatever it is, you've got to understand that you were indoctrinated. The hypnosis of societal conditioning, shout out to Deepak Chopra. You have to realize that those thoughts did not belong to you, but they were given to you and you embrace them and that you've lived your life accordingly all of these years. And now it's time to stop that. You have to go in. You have to break the past habits that are based on those belief systems. So, for example, if you were groomed to believe that you could not be happy without a partner, then the habit that you had was always trying to attract a partner or taking the first thing that came into your life. And then you've been in a series of relationships that did not serve you or you've been stuck in a loop of one relationship after the other, after the other, after the other, because you bought into somebody's belief that you were not worthy unless you had a partner or that unless you got married by a certain time, you, you simply were not good enough or because you didn't get a college degree, you couldn't be uh, successful, whatever it may be, you have to break those belief systems down. You have to look at the habits that are associated with the belief system and you have to really begin to affirm truth by shining the light on all of these falsehoods. Okay, you have to look at the ways in which you've been codependent on anything in this reality except your own ability to co-create and the divine, which means you have given up your power. All right. You have, I got to write down um, the title just to try to remember. You have given up your power, which means you have denounced reality essentially and you've made a vow of poverty. Poverty meaning an impoverished mindset. Poverty meaning spiritual destitution. Uh, to me, spiritual destitution is to believe that you can put your faith in something external, whether it be Mr. Charlie, whether it be Pookie and Ray Ray, whoever it is. The idea that you can put your beliefs into something external outside of you, okay? And that that not be the divine and that that not be an aspect of you because you are an aspect of the divine. And so you're looking outside of yourself for your sense of power. You have actually put God outside of yourself. Even though Jesus told you the kingdom of heaven is within or whatever it is that your holy book has said, which has given you the truth, you've allowed yourself to buy into some level of distortion through interpretation. And you believe that you are, are uh, been assigned to pray feverishly or to put your total faith in something outside of you instead of recognizing that as you say God made you in the image of God or that God breathed the ruh if you're Muslim in you or if you're Muslim God gave Adam all the names you forgot about that you let somebody else hijack that and separate you duality third dimension separates you from the reality of your truth, from the reality of your divine birthright. And so when you ate of the apple from the tree and you fell into ignorance, this is the ignorance of the Garden of Eden that you've been trying to get out of ever since. I'll say that again because you guys know I'm always talking about this is the Garden of Eden. So now I'm taking it a step further and I'm saying when you ate of the fruit in the Garden of Eden, that you were not to eat of or that you were not to allow yourself to succumb to in that lay your ignorance and in that lay your amnesia and your disconnect from the reality of your truth or the nature of reality so this codependency that you developed as a result of these dysfunctional belief systems the codependency being 
I'm going to depend on this man to take care of me. Or if you're a man, I'm going to depend on this woman to meet all of my needs because I can't meet my own needs without her. I'm going to depend on this job, Mr. Charlie. And because God does not have all of my provisions, I can't put my total faith in God. And I most certainly am not empowered enough within myself. So when you give up all of those things and you accept these belief systems, you enter into a dark phase of your existence which we call the third dimension. Okay, we're going to get more into this in the next video. I'll see you soon. Check out I Am Melanin Magic's natural hair and skincare products made by hand with the best of aromatherapy ingredients, grade A and therapeutic. Also check out our traditional Unsi and Bahor products, romanticize, energize, and feminize. Do you have dark spots from skin irritation? How about unsightly marks from acne that's lasted way too long? Fade Magic can help you find your way back to radiance over time. Don't delay, order yours today.